This morning, police in Charleston, South Carolina, tell NBC News they are aware of the death of a former Boeing employee turned whistleblower. 62-year-old John Barnett found dead on Friday from what the coroner calls an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. So this is my uh, retirement plaque. Barnett retired from Boeing in 2017 after working as a quality manager for more than 30 years. Since his departure, he has taken legal action against the company, claiming he was retaliated against for raising safety issues internally, issues that Boeing denied at the time. Back in 2019, Barnett sat down with Today describing a haphazard safety culture at Boeing. From day one, it's just all been about schedule and hurry up and just get it done, push the planes out, we're behind schedule. You know, we don't have time to, to worry about issues that y'all bring up. In 2017, the FAA released a review upholding many of Barnett's concerns. With regards to his sudden death, the company released a statement writing, We are saddened by Mr. Barnett's passing, and our thoughts are with his family and friends. Production standards at Boeing are under intense scrutiny, following a series of troubling incidents involving Boeing planes. The latest on Monday, when a 787 from the South American airline Lantum apparently dropped abruptly mid-flight from Sydney to Auckland, injuring at least 50 passengers and crew members. The airline says it's unclear what caused the strong movement on the flight. NBC News has also confirmed the Justice Department has launched a criminal investigation into Boeing following the blowout door plug on a 787 MAX 9 in January. The NTSB determined the plane left the Boeing plant without critical bolts that hold the plug in place. A scathing new FAA audit also found Boeing failed to comply with its own quality control procedures. We're working with Boeing and uh, demanding that they come up with a very detailed plan within the next 90 days uh, to fix the quality issues that are out there. Tom, we've also learned new details about that FAA audit. What have you know? Yeah, that's right. So according to a slide presentation that was reviewed by the New York Times, Boeing failed 33 out of 89 FAA audits, 33 out of 89 failures over a six-week period. NBC News has not seen the slides uh, ourselves. Spirit Aerosystems, which makes the fuselage for the Boeing plane, also failed multiple audits. And in one case, auditors saw mechanics using a hotel key card to check a door seal. Other mechanics were seen applying liquid soap to a door seal as part of the fit-up process. NBC News told NBC, rather Boeing told NBC News this morning, quote, we continue to implement immediate changes and develop a comprehensive action plan to strengthen safety and quality and build the confidence of our customers and their passengers. And they have some work to do. Savannah? Absolutely, Tom. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.